Hey, good morning. This is Bill Vernon. And uh, I say morning, you might be watching this at night, huh? And this is Bill Vernon from Keller Williams Realty, your agent for the Central Texas area. The I-35 group serves uh, Bell County, McLennan County, and the counties that touch that. We have two offices, one in Waco and Colleen. And today is our weekly visit with one of my favorite people in real estate. And I really mean that sincerely. I'm not, uh, uh, you know, I'm very serious about this. And this is Samantha Jackson. How are you going? How are you doing, Samantha? We're doing great. It's a, I'm, I'm glad we're finally getting spring weather. Yeah. Um, you might get some rain too. Is over. <laughs> yeah. 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 You can go enjoy your pool here pretty quick and really uh, enjoy, enjoy it. Enjoy so. it. Yeah, yeah. So Samantha, um, we were talking. We we talk. Uh, believe it or not, people. I know you you watch those videos and you kind of go, "Are these guys?" Yeah, we talk actually. And um, one of the things we were talking about was a house. You sent me to go look at a house that um, you said, "Ooh, Bill, did you see these pictures?" And uh, did, have you seen this house? I said, no, I haven't seen that house, uh, but I'm going to go look at it. It's owned by an eye buyer. Um, we're not going to say their name because we don't get sued because we're about to say some, uh, some things that aren't too hip about it. What'd you hear about that, that house, Samantha? Well, so to clarify for people out there, an eye buyer is one, it, it's a company who's never seen the house really. Um, and they buy it kind of just as is condition and, um, no, they don't negotiate and all that. They just give you a price and that's it. And you, you basically pack your stuff and walk away. And then they put it on the market. Um, so the pictures looked really nice. Um, you know, the, the house looked like it was in great condition. And so I was talking to a buyer about it. And he said, oh, no, I've already been out to see it. Um, it's terrible. It, it, it doesn't look like those pictures. That's not the same house. <laughs> and um, that's why Wasn't. I asked you about it. Cause I was like, I want to go see it now because I want to see how off it is. And you know, that's, that's an interesting concept because are you allowed to put pictures? Are you allowed to advertise it without disclosing that those aren't accurate? Uh, and the answer, because you're asking the question, cause you already know the answer to this. And the answer is not really. Um, now, um, I want to be careful here because like my pictures, um, we shoot them with wide angles and fish eye can lean and blah, 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 blah. Um, and, and so, so that you can see the whole room, does that really represent what that room looks like? And, and no, but I don't color in the grass. I don't put, I mean, those pictures were nowhere near that house. I mean, yeah. my understanding is like the kitchen needs a complete redo. Oh, the whole house needs to be redone. I mean, landscaping, um, there is a hole in it where obviously a, a squirrel, a squirrel had oh dug God. himself into the attic. I'm sure that there's a squirrel in the attic at a minimum. Um, you know, no, it did, it, it, you know, the, the pictures did not, I mean, it was okay house that needs to be redone. Um, the pictures are not. So my cautionary tale, and really the only reason I bring this up is, is mainly as a buyer, when you're looking at these eye buyers, um, they don't play by the rules. They are not, um, you got to realize they're in business to make money, which isn't really true because if you go look at any of these eye buyers that are publicly traded, and go look at their information, they ain't making money. And they're about to get burned big time. Um, you know, a reason you want to subscribe to this channel, you want to like this channel, I would love to hear your comments, is um, I'm about to sit there and kind of talk about what's going on with the statistics. Um, and they're about to get burnt um, big time. Because but the sad thing is, the, you know, the people who owned the house that sold to the iBuyer probably would have done better if they'd worked with an agent. Yeah, they would have made more money, even with the house in the current condition it is in. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and so, yes, they would have made more money. Um, and buyer beware. Okay, the contracts in the state of Texas 
that we use as realtors are in the favor of the buyer. When you're dealing with these um, high buyers, guess what? The, where the contracts are in favor of? Of course. So caution. Here's another cautionary tale: Do not deal with these guys by yourself. You need a realtor when you're dealing, definitely dealing with these people because you're dealing with uh, sharks. Now, man, that's not really the topic of our, our discussion. And we've already uh, talked. I mean, it was a good topic, something that needs to be said, but really, um, man, um, what's going on with the interest rates? And, and again, we're not going to talk about specific numbers, but in general, what's going yeah. on, Samantha? So there's a couple of things going on. The Fed is meeting today. Um, we've had, uh, and, and releasing, you know, we'll, we'll know today um, what they're planning on doing. Um, a couple of things have been happening over the last month. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but interest rates have gone up in the mortgage world. Um, mm -hmm. Now, the Fed didn't do that. Uh, you know, and, and if the Fed raises rates today, you know, they're talking about raising the, in, the, the Fed funds rate by a quarter to a half a percent. Um, you know, we've already priced into the market that quarter percent, but if they come up with that half percent, the reason they're raising rates is to help combat inflation. I don't know if anybody's noticed, but a gallon of milk, I didn't say gas, a gallon of milk is not the same price as it was six months ago. It's not even the same price as it was two weeks ago um, because it's becoming more expensive. That is inflation. That means that to buy the things that we're accustomed to purchasing, so a gallon of milk, your coffee at the um, coffee place, whatever, uh, it's gonna cost us more because it's gonna cost them more to make it. Their employees are gonna want more to make it for us or to stock or whatever, because they're having to pay more for their, you know, the items they need for their necessities. So it's, it's a kind of a, it's, it's a spiral and it, it causes prices to go up. We've already seen it in our home, our housing market, right? This last year? Yes. Um, if we go over year over year, we, we do see increases. Now, again, I don't want to get too deep in the wood, uh, weeds here, deep in the woods too. I don't care whatever metaphor we want to use there, Bill. Uh, I'm not awake. Um, let me wake up. Um, the uh, point of that is this is what is interesting year over year, they're up, but let me tell you what, February to December, they're down. Prices are down. And you know why that is? Uh, my theory is, because what you just said, interest rates are going up. Days on interest market. Interest rates are going up. And yeah. you know, if the Fed raises the interest rates today, a lot of people think that's going to be like a half a percent increase in, in, in mortgage rates. It's not. That Fed funds rate, can, it, it affects short-term interest rates. So it's going to affect your adjustable rate mortgage. It's going to affect your car loans. It's going to affect credit card interest rates. But it's not going to loans. affect mortgage interest rates directly. Right. So, um, you know, there's, there's a big misconception there. However, if they raise the rates, that does indicate that the Fed is concerned about inflation which will cause the stock market to do funny things. It'll cause the bond market to do funny things. And it will, in all likelihood, have an impact on mortgage interest rates. So um, mortgage interest rates have already gone up quite a bit. Um, we have a generation of home buyers right now that's never seen a 5% mortgage. By the way, I, I had an offer come in yesterday and it was just a smidgen below, guess what? Mm -hmm. and, and you're right. And of course, my thing is, I'm going to hear people on the buyer side, you know, my cousin's aunt, a uh, dog with its fleas, um, rumor, had, uh, got, you know, 2.99. Why can't I get that? Um, and, and, and so, yeah, we're going to, we're going to face that. We're going to see that. And it, it's funny. I was talking to somebody yesterday and I was like, well, we're going to be, you know, at X rate. And he's talking to his wife and he says, don't worry, we can refinance it in a year and get a lower interest rate. Um, I honestly, the, the rates we've had for the last two years have been unprecedented. 
um, you and I, I, I've never seen those rates. Um, no, no. I, I remember, um, and you know, uh, this being on the investment side, I remember getting 30 day CDs at a bank for 6%. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you and I, when we, when we see, you know, three, four percent, even five percent, we're yeah. we're seeing, we're seeing, um, you know, um, you know, good interest rates in our minds, but that's Absolutely. not how the, that's not how the consumer is going to look at it. No, we've got a. I mean, it, it's going to be interesting because we're going to have to have a reset, um, and it, it's we're going to start looking more at buying the rate down. You know, is there an option to buy the rate down? And as we move into this new kind of market with interest rates and that kind of thing, and I, it, the market seems to be kind of, no, I don't want to say cooling or slowing, but we seem to kind of start to, instead of having this hot, 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 hot market, it, it does seem to be leveling a little bit. Do you think? Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, I think uh, if you're a buyer on the sideline and your main problem was, I can't, I, you know, I have to make 30, uh, you know, 30 offers, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. um, here's the advantage that is going to, um, is going to start stepping down. As a seller, I want you to realize that yes, uh, every day you're waiting to put that on market for you know that better month, the, the, you know, but you're still a uh, year over year or year over the last two years that or if you've owned the property for five, 10 years, 30 years, you're going to make a ton of money, okay. Um, yes, you, you know, again, I, I want to go, uh, and I'll we'll just say it. Okay. So you live in Belton. I know you live in Belton. Um, mm -hmm. Belton, uh, the December number, and it's because I got all my papers set in front of me. The December, I looked down and saw December, February, the uh, medium price in that was uh, 297.5. And uh, excuse me, that is in December. That's, that was the average price. Okay. The average price now in February was 292. That's a drop of 5,000. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know about you. You know, uh, you know uh, 20 bucks is a lot of money for me. Um, 5,000 drop is, you know. So I think uh, now buyers, I would beware about you thinking that, um, oh, I'll sit on the sideline and let, things keep dropping because in previous uh, conversations, you and I have talked about every time that goes up even a quarter point on your mortgage, it does cost you some money. Mm -hmm. so, it does. And I, I think people are, you know, anybody that's sitting on the sidelines right now and saying, well, I'm going to wait for rates to go back down. Um, I don't think we're going to see them drop like that. I think, I can't. We're, you I know, mean, yeah. We just can't sustain that. I don't know about you, but I've been working 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for the last two years. Um, you know, I don't think our market can sustain that. And it's, there's not enough inventory on the market to allow for that. And uh, there's, there's just so many pieces of economic data that are going to prevent that from really happening. You know, and you and I were talking a second before we, we clicked in um, and started recording this is I said something and I want to kind of put it out on the table is listening to the noise. Um, I mean, there's bad things going on in the world. Uh, we got a madman running tanks through people's you know front yard um, and uh, China is shutting down the whole country now. Um, which means, guess what? Um, we don't have any widgets. Um, more importantly, you know what we don't have? We don't have the uh, windows to put in a new house. Uh, we don't have the doorknobs to put in new construction. So um, every day you kind of wait around for 
whatever excuse you come up with your head, uh, I, I would encourage you to quit listening to that noise. If you have a need to buy or sell your house, you need to get in touch with us. Absolutely. And I, I saw something this morning that rental um, rates have skyrocketed. Oh, and um, I mean, I talked to somebody the other day, we were going to be able to get him into a mortgage. He was going to buy his house. His payment was going to be significantly less than any rent he could get. And um, he decided to go ahead and rent because he thinks that mortgage rates are going to go down. Okay. Now, and here's what I will tell you. Um, at a minimum, uh, your, um, your rental will definitely increase. Uh, but will your mortgage payment increase? No, yeah. it's, it's fixed. Well, it can well, on the- uh, Your principal and in interest. interest. Right. right. Your principal okay. and interest cannot change unless you do an adjustable rate mortgage. And right. folks, I'm going to tell you right now, um, interest rates aren't high enough, in my opinion, to justify an adjustable rate mortgage. We uh, are still yeah. on the low side of interest rates. Now, if they get up to 9, 12, 13, let's talk about those adjustable rate mortgages at that point. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But, you know, sitting in fours and, and even if we get to fives, mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't know that an adjustable rate is, is still a good choice, depending on how long you plan to live there. Um, that's, that's my PSA, but, um, you know, waiting prices are going to continue to go up. They might not go up a lot and we may see a month of, you know, a month dip or a month raise or whatever, but, you know, you're talking about prices dropping $5,000, from December to January, um, what is December to January in the home buyer market? Well, that was actually uh, December to uh, to February. February, um, but what is what, December to February in the home buyers market? It's not a right. big mover. Well, and 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 let's let's put this out here um, again. You you mentioned it. Inventory months on, uh, of inventory it, um, actually had a slight decrease in both the Waco and the Belton market. Again, there, there's these price drops, but inventory, again, people are still going to buy those houses. Uh, there's still a need to buy a house. Um, so it is still what? A seller's market. Um, still a seller's market. Yeah, buyer... What I guess my encouragement is um, if you need to buy a house, you need to sell a house. Today's the day to do it. Do not Absolutely. worry. Yeah, do not worry. Now, I want to be careful here because I do and you do worry for the client. Hey, is it, is this make financial sense? Okay, that's again a reason you want to get in a relationship with people like me and like you is that. We will look at this. Does this make financial sense? Does renting really make financial sense? And mm -hmm. in this market, the answer is no. And this comes from a guy that's wife has single family rentals. Um, you know, she's making a killing on her on her properties compared to what she had, um, you know, just two years ago. Um, and, and Absolutely. So, yeah, and, and and I will guarantee you, your rent is going to go up, uh, and and your part of your mortgage is not going to go up. Um, it's still going to be cheaper. So, does the math make yeah. sense? Yeah. Well, and take a look at who's buying houses right now: people that need to live in a house and investors. People who invest in property for a living are still buying. They are and paying crazy prices. Uh, Joe, mm -hmm. um, now just kind of funny, you know, Joe's our, is our, uh, one of our buyer expert agents uh, on a team, but he got a listing lead um, that was an investment property. Um, we're, we're stunned at how much someone paid for this house because it needed to be kind of like that house we were talking about earlier. Needed to be redone, tipped to certain, even have a water heater in it. Um, and uh, so investors are still out there. I think it, I think again, to your buyers, part of the cool thing for you is as interest rates go up 
investors are going to be pushed out um, because they're not. One of the reasons one of your competition buyers was an investor because they could borrow money. Uh, for, they had free money, you know, four percent to investing. Uh, an investor um, was manna from heaven. Free money, yeah. Right now. Um, you know, in fact, I'm about to renew an investment loan and I'm, you know, I'm shaking in my boots thinking about, and this is kind of interesting, um, of telling you more than uh, I probably should tell people, but um, the organization has really not contacted me to renew. We're still making the payments. They have not contacted me to renew that loan. And I know why. They're waiting for today. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so buyers, um, another piece of good news is these interest rates, just slight increases to you might hurt you um, a little, but it is massive for investors. So those, those people are going to start drifting out. So the competition mm -hmm. there is going to be lighter. Well, they're not going to have their, their return on investment they need. Um, yeah. they're, they're not going to be able to cash flow like they want mm -hmm. once interest rates get high enough. Um, now, do I think we're going to, do I think we're going to see seven, eight, nine, ten? 10? No, I don't. Um, I could be proven wrong, but I hope I'm not. Um, I don't think we're going to see that high, but I yeah. do think, you know, we're going to, we're definitely going to be flirting with five. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, again, I want to be careful here about you and I predicting stuff because, uh, we, you know, in December, did we know we were on the verge of World War III? Um, do, uh, do we know that, oh, uh, Omicron is hitting China and China's response to all that is to shut their country down? Um, we don't know that stuff. Uh, but we do know what? We know today. Uh, I have a, I, well, he's not my coach any longer. I had a life coach, but we're still friends and he's posts this stuff and he's in eastern uh philosophies and one of the one of the the people he he shot screenshot or did a meme on uh he said the other day it was very interesting the guy said uh don't live in the past because that's you know that's back there don't live in the future because that's out there you need to live in the what the present because that is real that is now yeah and, and and that's what I would say to both buyers and sellers. We know now what is going on, and it, it, it's a time to still do real estate. I totally agree. I, I think, you know, it, right now is a good time. If somebody's interested, Bill, how can they get in touch with you to talk about the market? 254 495 5661. Of course, you can also subscribe to this channel and get more videos. You can always email me too. If you got a specific question, it what what's the what's the rule of real estate? It's local, local, local. It, it, and about your area, reach out to my email, Bill at i35realty.com. I'll send you information about your house. Samantha, how can people get a hold of you so they can do the first step in their real estate goal? Is to talk to you. How can they do that? Absolutely. Let's figure out what your buying power is and what you can do to get where you want to be, they can call or text me 254-624-4307. They can even go apply online at our website, which is weknowfinancing.com. Okay, cool. Hey, Samantha, thank you for your time. And I look forward to talking to you again. Have a great day, Bill. We'll talk to you later. Oh, bye.